Welcome to Mandarin Meets English. This is six minutes a day keeps you good sense of English EP4. Today's topic: navigating economic downturn. A conversation on layoffs and resilience. Today's speaker, Nikki, has a British accent. Roger has an American accent. It's been tough lately. Our company is really feeling the effects of this economic downturn. Yeah, it's not just us. Many companies are struggling. Have you heard any news about layoffs in our department? I haven't heard anything official, but rumors are flying around. It's making everyone anxious. I wonder how the company will handle this situation. Do you think layoffs are imminent? Well, it's a possibility. The management might consider it to cut costs, but I hope they explore other options before resorting to layoffs. Agreed. Layoffs can be devastating for employees and their morale. Hopefully, there are alternatives like reducing work hours or furloughs. If layoffs happen, it will be a challenging time for those affected. They'll have to deal with financial stress and uncertainty. That's true, and it's not just about losing income; it's also about the emotional toll it can take on people and their families. Plus, the fear of losing one's job can create a toxic work environment, affecting productivity and teamwork. Do you think the company is prepared for this economic downturn? What strategies should they consider? I believe the company should focus on diversifying its revenue streams and cutting non-essential expenses. They should also invest in employee training to increase versatility. Agreed. Preparing for the future is essential. Reducing waste and finding new opportunities for growth can help weather the storm. For those facing the possibility of layoffs, what advice would you give them to stay resilient during these tough times? First. Build an emergency fund if you haven't already. Update your resume and start networking. It's also a good time to acquire new skills or consider freelancing as a backup. And don't be afraid to seek emotional support from friends, family, or even professional counseling. It's a challenging journey, but with the right mindset and support, people can bounce back. Speaking of layoffs. Do you think companies have a social responsibility in such situations? Absolutely. Companies should handle layoffs with compassion and provide assistance to affected employees, such as outplacement services or job placement assistance. They should also maintain transparency in their decision-making process and communicate their actions and plans clearly to both employees and the public. Government policies can also play a crucial role in economic recovery, right? Yes, government stimulus packages and support for small businesses can help revive the economy. They can also provide unemployment benefits and retraining programs for those who lost their jobs. So, it's not just the responsibility of companies and individuals. Governments need to step in to support the recovery process. In the long run, how can we all contribute to building economic resilience, even in the face of downturns? Education is key. Promoting financial literacy and personal finance management can empower individuals to navigate economic challenges. And as a society, we need to foster innovation and entrepreneurship to create new job opportunities and reduce our dependence on traditional employment models. It's clear that economic downturns are challenging, but they can also be opportunities for growth and change. We should stay adaptable, support one another. And work towards a more resilient future. Agreed. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Together, we can overcome these economic challenges and come out stronger on the other side. Today's vocabulary. Repeat after me. Downturn. Downturn. Struggling. Struggling. Layoffs. Layoffs. Rumors. Rumors. Anxious. Anxious, imminent, imminent, devastating, devastating, furloughs, furloughs, stress, stress, uncertainty, uncertainty, toll, toll, toxic, toxic, diversifying, diversifying, versatility, versatility, waste, waste. 
resilient, resilient. Skills, skills. Freelancing, freelancing. Outplacement, outplacement. Transparency, transparency. Stimulus, stimulus. Entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship.